this desert uh, and I can officially say I have crossed the Barrenas Reales and it was all that I dreamt of, uh, a, a little bit more actually. Today it's the big day. I am going to the semi-desert of Navarra. I am uh, talking a bit quiet because it seems like in Spain people are getting up late so I figure they may want to sleep a bit more. Anyway, I am going down to have some breakfast and uh, then quickly pack up my bike and uh, get on my way because I don't want to miss this day. Uh, weather forecast says it's going to be like 20 degrees and uh, sunny. so. Perfect. So, see you in a bit. Okay. So, let's go to Bardenas de Reales. Sliding a bit, so I think just have to fix that. Oh, this has come loose. That explains a bit. Oh, it's hot. I'm being a bit careful because I'm alone and uh, there's really no people around here uh, so I really don't want to drop the bike it's too heavy it's too hot
I am at uh, Bardenas Reales Nature Park and it's even better than I thought. It's just, uh, just stunning and uh, the weather is absolutely fine. It's like 21 degrees, I'm gonna change my clothes so I'm getting a little bit cooler. You're right. As I said before, it's absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, amazed for every corner, every turn. It uh, keeps getting better and better. And the sun is shining, it's quite windy, so it's quite uh, cold. That's why I'm not taking off the helmet because uh, and the sand gets in your eyes. Uh, but uh, just look at the surroundings here. Now this is actually known for uh, the movies, uh, lots of spaghetti western movies. They're actually shot here at uh, Bardenas Reales. Uh, you can see why. Uh, it's uh, like a semi-desert, it's dry, it's grass, grasslands, and it's uh, hilly and kind of like mountains, but not really mountains, but uh, quite rocky. So it's a perfect spot for uh, shooting Western movies, actually. So that's why they have shot many movies here. So yeah, I will keep going. Uh, I have no idea how far it is to cross the whole Bardenas Reales, but uh, it'll take a while. And I want to book a hotel before I know, uh, before I end up on the other side. So, but I'm just gonna keep going because I don't want to miss a thing of this as long as the sun is shining. At least it's a clear blue sky and it's not going to rain.
and I can officially say I have crossed the Barrenas Reales, the Navarra, uh, and it was all that I dreamt of, uh, a, a little bit more actually. It was quite challenging sometimes, because uh, it's uh, such a big bike, and I'm all by myself, but uh, I made it through. And I'm really happy I did, and I'm really happy for the sunshine I had today. If there was going to be rain there, it was it would have been a nightmare. So I I was really lucky that it's a lovely day today, and it's actually warm. It's like 24 degrees, so I had to pull off my undergarments because uh, it uh, just became too hot. Ah, perfect. Uh, I am going to the nearest town, maybe have something to eat and see what the time is. Uh, I don't know if I have time to go through Mirador El Planero or something today, a rocky area, and all the way to Quito. But uh, I'll get to the next town, and then I look it up from there. Alright, so 